what is going on guys let's use this v500 pro circuit tester to demonstrate a 5 volt reference on the picoscope so i'm going to go ahead and select the 0 to 5 volt function and it's at 2 volts right now let's go ahead and start recording with our scope okay so there is two volts and you can adjust this by small increments or by larger volt increments. And I wanted to show you guys something, which is I put markers here at four and a half and 0.5 volts because this is really the useful range for the signal on the five volt ref. If it goes up to five, then you don't really know what value it represents anymore because it could be a value higher and you're at the limit. And then on the other end, right, if you're at zero, uh, again, you really don't know, you know, what value that might represent. It could represent a value lower that just can't, that's out of the range. So you want to use the range in between the limits, okay, and then use the limits for diagnostics. So what would happen, for example, is if we shorted our 5-volt ref, signal wire to 5 volt power you see now we're outside of the range and that could trigger a circuit code and the same idea would apply to for example if there was a break in the wire like pull this out now we're down to zero so these five and zero volts or close to them are very useful diagnostically right and allow you to have confidence in the value coming off of your signal because you know it represents a real value. It's not out of range. So I thought that was interesting. Just wanted to show that to you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Give me whatever comments you have. If, if there's any questions you have, please leave them in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you guys. Have a great one.